Not fish. I'm Poetic and today we are at Chops Burrito Shop. They have amazing burritos here, especially their Bogorito, which is right here. Here's all their stuff that they do have. We're gonna back up a little bit just to show you guys. So we're definitely gonna be getting the Bogorito. I've had it once and it was amazing. We might be getting the Flaming Boar. No, we're getting the Flaming Boar. Kraken. Kraken. And then uh, the Loco Soba. The Loco Soba. Because we didn't say about it before, we are here in Linwood, Linwood Washington not far from the Regal Cinema. So we're gonna show you guys the inside of the place. It's raining slash dripping snow. So there's an awesome chop sign, this huge place right here. So here's all the tables and everything inside of it. We're gonna show you what they have for their order station. Here's the burrito, sweet Korean barbecue beef, chili lime dressing, cilantro and basil, spicy mayo and salad mix slash rice. Uh, By the way, make sure you keep everything and just get more sauce. Add I recommend that to that our you. order. You're gonna get a flaming boar, a loco soba, and the Kraken drinks. And then they have some side orders like bulgogi fries, yakimandu, which is uh, Korean dumplings, egg rolls, and some other stuff. And even side kimchi, which is always wonderful. Oh wait, side kimchi? The side of kimchi. We should get a side of kimchi. Okay, side we, of we kimchi. We need veggies of some sort. Eat your veggies, so, yeah, kids. Yeah, that's everything we're gonna get, I think, right now. I think that's a pretty good amount of food, honestly. Four burritos and a side of kimchi and two sodas came out to $62 or so. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Here's all the sodas, everything you can imagine. Here's the awesome kitchen staff. What's up, what's up? Awesome kitchen staff right here. They're working their butt away to do the best they can. Local business. What's up? What's your favorite burrito? My favorite is crispy chicken. Crispy chicken? Ooh. He said his favorite is the crispy chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to eat, sit down, and we'll be right back with y'all right after these. Because y'all know how it is. Okay, so we're back. We're going to actually show you guys exactly what we got. And you know the names of them, right? This is the Bogogi Burger. That's the Bogogi... Wait. Uh, so the Bogogi... Bogogi Burrito? burrito. Okay. okay. What's this one? Uh, this is the Loco Soba. Loco Soba. This is the Flaming uh, Boar. Flaming Boar. And then this is the Kraken. The sea Kraken. One. And do you know what each one of them has on it? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact... There's also a whole wall with pictures on it describing everything. Check that out real quick. Starting with the bogogi, the bogorito, it's sweet Korean barbecue beef, lime chili dressing, cilantro and basil, spicy mayo and salad mix and rice. With so rice. Let's try this one right here. We'll go one at once as we try them. You want lemon or lime? Uh, sure. And they throw in some jalapenos here, which is pretty dope. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab this. So we're gonna only take a small bite. As you can see, we have a lot of food. So, and fries, yeah. and kimchi. Just all the good stuff. Let's go ahead and try this out. So I've had this once a while back, probably like right during the pandemic. Um, I went out to uh, Funko Land. I was like, oh, let me try it out. And it was, um, someone's like, oh, you gotta try them out. They're really good. So I did. I tried them out and they were amazing. Make sure you guys follow us on our Instagram, all our social media. Hit that subscribe button, hit the likes. Um, definitely hit the notifications so you guys can see anytime that we post. And we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Ready? I don't know if my jaw's gonna be big enough for this, guys. Mm -hmm. Now they give jalapenos to add a little bit of spice. It's nice for people who don't like hot, they put it on the side. The jalapenos definitely add to it. It's one of those things where they know people don't like spice to a point. They put it on the side, but it does add to the They also have a um, spicy mayo dressing that you can add to. Uh, they do give us a couple of these little tins of them, which is quite nice. My initial uh, reaction to this is the greens surrounding it just give it, prevent the meat from feeling heavy. The rice? Yeah, well, not just the, the rice, but also the, the salad mixture, the carrots, the diced cabbage, all that kind of stuff. So it just covers it, gives it a nice little, I don't know, blanket, so, yeah. so to speak. I agree. No, what we're going to do is to make this easier, y'all, because I know us. Once we're done, we're going to be like, oh my gosh, so... I'm gonna, you don't want the jalapenos, I'm assuming, correct? Mm. This will be mine, this will be yours, and then when you're done with that one, <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna eat slowly and not as much because we know it's gonna be a lot of food. Um, overall, this by far, from this is the only one I've had, but I rate this five out of five. Uh, the bulgogi um, meat is just super tender, but super flavorful. It's like you said, really I love thin. it. Yeah, I love the lettuce. The, I believe you said cabbage. There's mm -hmm. rice in it. Definitely recommend, um, for y'all who like a little bit of spice, um, jalapeno, yes. Do the spicy mayo, if anything. This, no, he's not gonna do it, but I'll do it, so I'll let you know. Um, this does add a level of freshness that's, it's weird. This actually changes the whole profile of the burrito in terms of how it comes out tasting. 
Um, that's why I'm actually glad that they put the jalapeno because of that. It does add a whole new flavor. I'm gonna take one more bite, then we're gonna go on to the next one just because, you know, why yeah, not? They, these are huge and we have three more in the fries to get through. Um, but yeah, it's very tasty, full of juices and, mm. but not heavy because of the, the salad in the bunch of it. Mm -hmm. The next one we're gonna have, this one I'm kind of hesitant on. I don't, noodles are something I'm very like picky on. But especially like in a burrito, I'm kind of like, eh. yeah, th this I'm is a little a, hesitant on it. But. This is a nice mad science one. I'm curious. I'm very excited for it. Um, Let's find out. Let's find I out. I really enjoy yakisoba as a kid. Same here, which is why I'm kind of like, um, burrito though. But so like, this is yakisoba noodles, more of the Korean sweet barbecue beef. All right. Uh, four cheese blend. Eggs. So it's cheesy. It's cheesy. You better believe it. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Uh, eggs. Cabbage mix and more of the spicy mayo. Okay, okay. And of course, rice. And for y'all who don't like spice, the spicy mayo is on the side, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Look at that beauty. Take a look. See there. I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant. I really am. It looks uh, very juicy. It does. It, it's yeah. It actually has a bit of a gusto to it. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. That's good. Uh, with the yaki I was not expecting that. I was expecting to like noodles. I was expecting to like be like, eh, it's okay, like, because noodles is one of those things like it could be a texture thing. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, but this comes out it, really it, good. The texture does come out really moist, but not like soggy. Yeah. Right? Uh, which was kind of the worry when you have noodles all packed together. That's what I was worried about. That. But man, it, it's this. also densely Huge. flavored. Yeah. You get the beef. You get the yakisoba flavor. The, the herbs in it. Yeah. Yeah, the, che the cheeses alone make the yakisoba. It makes the yakisoba stick to the meat, so it just adds like so you you do taste them all separately, which is crazy, but you actually taste them together very nicely, to the point that you're like, oh my gosh, like this is actually a super flavorful thing to like do. Yeah, so far like I think this one would be my favorite, where the bagogi one is lighter and like cool. This is a nice warmth that sits in your stomach. So I like this one. But this is my favorite, but I'm loving this one though. By like a long shot. Like I think to me, I would eat that one in the summer and this one in the winter. You know, trying to warm you up versus like I agree. The light airiness. Well, I would eat them both no matter what. But if you had to choose like a winter one, yeah, I, I gotta agree with the, the the noodle one is definitely more of a uh, of a winter one. So we're gonna put our little boxes away here. Okay, so we're gonna go a little. Just so this is the big bagogi fries. Let's do the kimchi. Oh, kimchi. Yes. I'm very picky on kimchi, y'all, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Let's do the smell. So it has a nice red color. Ooh. That's... The sauce is coated quite thoroughly throughout the whole thing. I'm very picky on kimchi because kimchi is one of those things where like, it can be very sour and fermented, so it can be a little bit too strong for me sometimes. Very rarely have I had one like that so far. Um, I tend to try to go to like the H Mart. And try yeah. to get me a good kimchi. Now them, they have a great kimchi. Um, this one's actually good. Uh, it's not too sour to the point of like, eh. But you can tell it's very authentic how they make it. Um, I love the flavors on it. It's actually it's, I mean, it's, it's sour. It's sweet. It's, it's, it's sour with the sweetness yeah. of the cabbage, but just a little bit of spiciness. Yeah. And not not much. Nothing at all. overpowering. Yeah, which is really good. Again, even for me, who's not not into spice, it's not bad at go. all. But it um, is. It, it does have a lot of flavor to it. It's dense. You guys have already seen it, but show you a little close up there. Check that out there. That's the bulgogi fries. So we're gonna go ahead and take a bite. So yeah, I like this. This is actually good, it's refreshing. So we're gonna grab this, because it's very gooey, so actually I'm gonna mix this up real quick, just to make it a little bit easier. As much as I can mix to a point. So it has a wonderful little sauce on it, and then the bulgogi with some onions, it looks like. Bro, that's fire. Fries get really nice and coated. Lately, we've been coming into places that have fries, that they're making them right. I don't know why. Like they're they're very crispy on the outside, very nice and mushy on the inside. And then yeah, the people are starting to take their food seriously. Maybe, but then you know the bulgogi and the sauce together. You know you got the good bulgogi meat. It's it's very thinly stripped, uh, very like I want to say chopped. And it's just it fits so that you, it can really coat the entire thing. It's just it's delicious. You mean they're chopped like the game of the place? So good. So the fries have a nice mushy texture inside, which I like. Yeah, it's that, not fried hard all the way through. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I like the, the fact that there's an actual crunch on the outside, and then like the inside actually has a like huge like softness to it. Yeah. Because you don't want a crappy fry. I mean, fries are fries, but you don't want a crappy one either way. Yeah. That's so far. Good fries. 
um, full of flavor, and they have a nice little dip in sauce that goes mixed in with it. And of course, if you guys want to, take your sauce and... Very, this one's super savory. No heat whatsoever. Yeah. I like it. It's yeah. really good. I wish it was a little bit more meat, but honestly, for how much meat there is, that's actually not bad. But that's, that's, a lot, that's a lot of meat in, in well, no. that. No. The only way I'm saying that is that I like the meat. Mm -hmm. mm, like, that's fair. When you like the meat, you want more, but in general, the portion size, the price, how it is, everything that's in it, it's, it's, it's really good. It's definitely worth it. I mean, they, they put a lot of meat in it. Okay. It's just for, if you really, well, really love the meat, then you want to do that. Let's try an experiment here. Add some kimchi to it. I was going to say fire. Sweet, sour kimchi, yeah. You, you can't go wrong with that. Mm, yeah. You're going to have the sweet and sourness of the kimchi, then you're going to have the crunchiness of the fries, the meat. The kimchi mixed in with that makes such a, even more of an explosion of flavor. It's really nice. All right. So. We do have more stuff to continue. Sadly, put that away for now. This so. is the flaming boar. Ooh. It is the spicy Korean barbecue pork, uh, pickled daikon, cilantro and basil, cabbage mix, it's the spicy mayo, and rice. Ah. Here's the lime and lemons, if you want to put it on there. I'll throw one on my stove. This is the flaming one? Yes, yeah, the flaming pork, uh, which is a spicy pork with some healthy vegetables. Let's Mostly see. pickled oh. daikon and uh, some cabbage. So then, let's take a bite. I'm gonna open mine first just because it's easier. You mean you don't want some paper? No. Mm. Not today. I had enough paper yesterday. I prefer thin grain paper, gluten free. You know, no GMOs. <laughs> so they did add some jalapenos <laughs> to this one. So this one does have a bit of a bite, lots of flavor to it. I don't like it. I think it's phenomenal. Ah, gotcha. No, it's really good. Um, I love the, I don't know what they put in this. What You said they put what in it? Uh, pickled daikon, cilantro and basil, cilantro cabbage basil. mix, cabbage. spicy marrow, rice, and then it looks like oh, some okay. jalapenos. So yeah, the daikon is what I'm tasting. I'm not gonna, is it really that hot? That's a little hot for me, yeah. Really? You've had way hotter than that. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised. It's just the way that the, the beef is, or sorry, the pork is coated okay, okay. in it. Probably the way they actually put the juices yeah. in. They probably, yeah, okay. That makes sense. And so, like, it's very flavorful, but it's, uh, it's not the, the edge of where I'm comfortable for it. And again, I'm weak to heat. So, that being said, it is very tasty. I love the fact that there's the spice heat to it. The pork, you said? Yeah, spicy uh, Korean barbecue pork. So, it's spicy Korean barbecue pork, so it's really nice. So it has a nice good amount of heat to it. But the part that I love the most is the crunch of the cabbage and the daikon. That gives that nice crunch factor to it. I love, if you're gonna have food like this, I do like a little crunch to it at some point. So, um, I do like what? Speak up. Oh, we, we got bad. quiet again. Like, we'll, we'll just say it, no. So, um, so yeah, I like the daikon, the cabbage. Uh, it did have so, a nice little um, mixture of the veggies in. Overall, it's good. Again, just because it, it, the heat factor for me, it's not my personal favorite. Uh, so far, the other two have been really, really top up there. And then let's see what this seafood one is like. What, what's that one on? The last one is called the Kraken. Release the Kraken! Which is fried cod, french fries, calamari, Ooh. crab, pickled daikon, spicy mayo, the cabbage mix, cilantro, and basil. So I'm gonna do a little lemon. I feel like I just put lime and lemon on everything. It after is uh, the. It's from our Mexico video, Puerto Vallarta. Go watch it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this. And then let's try. I'll get it from the top, I guess. Oh, yeah. mm. oh wow. So this one's dense with flavor between the veggies mixed in with the crab. It has that wonderful sweetness there with a bit of a crunch. Oh, yeah. And then you have um, the fried cod mixed in with some fries Ooh. and some calamari. I'm liking this one. Um, it's a very potent, like, savory mixture. Yeah. I like the crab flavor on it. I'm really liking it. So this, it's very dense. It's definitely a very umami flavor. So umami, when we say umami, is like sweet, sour, salty, savory. That's when it has like all of them. This one, because of like the crab, the salt, the daikon, the radishes, the cilantro, the basil, literally has all the flavor, plus the heat. Um, a little bit of heat, well I had jalapeno, so that's why I have heat. Um, I like it. This is my second favorite. I think this is number one. This is my second, I still love the bulgogi. Followed by the, um, mm. The bulgogi one is my favorite. This is my second. The yakisoba and this one's right up there. It's really hard for me to choose between the two. So, so good. That is good. Yeah, that it's is, a nice mixture of taste. Or, this is definitely my favorite. Taste my and flavors. So, put it down for a minute. One more bite. <laughs> so, overall, 
What was your favorite? Between the Kraken and the Loco so uh, Soba, I think it's one of those two. We can only choose one from what we've had so far. Well, that's why I was saying it that way. <laughs> uh, I think think that because it's winter time, the the Soba does the the Yaki Soba does win out. Yeah, I do like Just that. I like the winter. cheesiness of it. it. It's actually it's like a he it's definitely a very hefty but delicious meal. So I definitely would recommend it. Um, if you guys want something for winter time, I would say that one. If you want a more summertime, I definitely go the, to the Bogo Grito. Like the Bogo one. Yeah. yeah, and then like it's very light and crispy. That's why this the the, the seafood one is definitely like a heavy. Like yeah. if you're not going to be doing things afterwards, where the Bogo Grito, I don't you know. can eat half and like still be able to do. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. No, I do agree with that. But the seafood one, I kind of like. It's not too heavy, but it's definitely one where it's it just has. It's, it's like a medium for me. It's like it's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Like it has a good enough amount. Like you're, you're definitely gonna be a little bit more couch locked, I would say, on that one <laughs> than you would. Uh, the yeah, I feel like the the yakisoba one. That's definitely a heavy one for me. Yeah. Uh, well, but that's it, that's it, one it, that like is, you can go to a bar a and relax because it's like simple. Take on it. Like I don't. Like think that's a good bar food. That's a, that would be amazing. You go drinking. Drunk food. That, yeah, that'd be perfect. So, so uh, maybe we suggest them getting some some soju. Yeah, we, we'll probably end up you know doing a little drink afterwards. But um, no, it's definitely in general they're all really good though. But yeah, they're all fantastic. Um, and for thirteen bucks a burrito, and again, these are super super dense, about yay long each, just yeah. packed as heavy as you can. Half bar too. Well, that that's probably so, about. Yeah, about thick, four inches wide by about six inches long for they, 13 they just, bucks they're 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 worth their weight Def yeah. definitely worth their weight and unless you're unless you're um, really hungry um you know what one is even half, half is, is more than good enough half, for most i think people. half is really good yeah I, we're big dudes as you guys can tell and half is just a lot and we we, we took <laughs> small bites like of each of them. Less so. than less than a quarter of each. Yeah, so and we really don't need much. One is probably good enough, honestly. It's wonderful. You get get lunch and then dinner. It's wonderful for that Literally. price. Like it, it's, so overall, up to five stars. I mean, five, this, five this, this this place does blow it out of the water, especially for the the money you oh, pay yeah. for it. The service is quick. They're it's not slow at all. Quick. They're very quick. Um, and they're people packed. coming in and out of here very quickly. Yeah, it's a wonderful little uh, place. Every burrito. Um, we've only had, so mind you, we've only had one, two, three, what, four burritos? Four out of the six major Do they, do they, they have, have six? Have. I'm glad we didn't do they, the six. I, I wouldn't survive. Yeah. I couldn't do it. They have so, two two different chicken ones that we didn't end up getting. Yeah. So overall, wonderful. As always, How'd subscribe you, to our channel. Do, do the notification bell so if you want to see Linwood, more of this. The owners are super nice. They're sweet people. They got a crazy, uh, as you guys saw when I was over there around the corner, they have a lot of cooks back there. Uh, they're definitely uh, cranking out just a ridiculous amount of food. Uh, but you can tell they love what they do and they have a good time. And it looks like they get they all get along very, very yeah. well. Like they're super well, friendly and, and they they're just like a, joking back they there. They have a very large drink selection, yeah, huge. which is wonderful. Which, you all saw. So come over here, support your local uh, your local businesses. That's that's as you guys know, that's our big main thing. Uh, let them know that we sent you because that is huge for them to know that hey, this is a deal. Um, these are not sponsored videos. We just love helping our local community. So make sure you guys, like he said, subscribe, hit that bell for the notification, hit that thumbs up. Let people know what's happening. Try it out. As um, always, if you have any com comments, leave them below. Leave, comment, if you want like us me. to go check out a place, please let says? us know. Uh, if you're worried about something and you're just like. Try the kimchi too. Oh, the kimchi is great. Phenomenal. Uh, we'll be your test dummies for you. Definitely. And, and as always, keep on wandering. Aloha, everyone. We're the Wandering Food Dudes. I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish. Join us as we travel throughout the U.S. promoting mom and pop restaurants, learning of their culture through music, food, and drinks.